So what inspired you to do that IG reel on the topic of child support? You know what? My own story, because I was thinking about in 2020, how um, when I, it finally dawned on me, y'all, that I needed to request a modification. I was like, you know, it's a pandemic. We're going, you know, I've been going through, I've been doing all this stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, um, when I say going through, one of the my kids broke an elbow in 2012, one broke an ankle in 2016. I'm, you know, the sole provider, so I'm paying for everything. And he thinks that that $600 he was sending was a lot. And, you know, bare, bare communication between us, barely any after all these years. And um, those early moments, the the frustration, the way that, you know, he behaved kind of stuck with me, you know, it scared me a little bit in the beginning, I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. And so I realized that after I moved to Texas and requested, you know, a modification and actually tried to get child support, because when I was in Louisiana, he wasn't paying, they acted like they couldn't find him. And I was like, he's like right here, <laughs> you know, this is where he works. Why can't y'all make him help, help me? And so I get to Texas, they, they do that, but literally nothing had been changed. And I've been in Texas 14 years. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to make sure that women didn't do what I did. They didn't let these people's personalities, the fact that what they might do, um, uh, even when we say to ourselves, because I said it too, I'm just going to let whatever he sends come in, whatever they get from him come in. I'm going to, you know, expect that the state does this. They don't. Because, you know, when you're in the middle of it, when you're raising your kids, you're not thinking about all this stuff. You know, you're reacting and you're trying to be proactive as well in life and you're just going about your business. And so don't be like me, ladies. I decided that I wanted to tell women, check in, do your yearly modification. For some people, it's easy. For the rest of us, we're like, listen, it, it seems like a hassle, Um that's another piece of mail that I got to get to, that I got to, you know, handle when you're in the throes of it with all this stuff piled on top of you. Sometimes it's not as easy as black and white. And, you know, I was busy building businesses, serving other people, um, but it stuck, it, that stuck in my mind and I didn't want any drama. So anyway, long story short, that my own experience. And then one of my girlfriends did a video about why won't these men help take care of their kids or why won't they come see their kids? And then that was the last straw. And I was like, let me tell you what I've learned over the years. Just put that man on child support and go live your life. Because it's a futile question. It's futile Mm -hmm. to to ask somebody who knows, who was there for the delivery, who was there when you were pregnant, to come see their kids, to come help you with them. You've kept the lines of communication open and they're not doing it. It's because they don't want to. Put that man on child support and live your life. Mm. I know that's right. I said, and I'm going to share this across all my platforms because I, I know there's been some people uh, in my social media uh, platform that talk about this very thing. And I'm like, maybe this video will help you today. <laughs> maybe somebody going to get a breakthrough on this. And they did. Thank you for sharing it, by the way. A lot of women, you know, uh, responded to it. They messaged me and they were like, you know, I'm in the same predicament. And I'm just like, listen. And then there are women who messaged me and they were like, I'm doing all right by myself. So I'll put him on child support when I need it. And I was like, that's how we all think, right? But life happens. We just went through a pandemic that none of us thought. And we're in a recession that nobody expected. Well, you know, people predicted it, but folks weren't listening, right? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of typically probably what happens after natural disasters and that that global pandemics, right? Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, now that we're in this recession, since you need your coins, you, you, need, your, you need the coins you're making and you need the coins that he should be giving you rightfully. So one of my friends was like, he has a moral responsibility, moral, ethical, parental responsibility to help take care of the children that he fathered. And this is the truth. Now, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't have even done that because for two years, I didn't put him on child support. I talked to him. I'd had the second baby. Mm-hmm. And I was, when we were two months When I was two months pregnant, we broke up, broke up because somebody was in the street. Somebody really wasn't trying to be, you know, with me and and, and raise his kids. We broke up. And so um, we were in that good phase of trying to, you know, communicate and co-parent. And I was being a big girl and my heart was broken and I was crying. And, you know, but I'm like, you know what? This ain't for me. I can't I can't be with somebody that's doing all this. Mm -hmm. Um, But I can co-parent. I can be big girl enough to co-parent you know to have these conversations and for a little bit it was it was working 
And then he started, you know, not doing the distance of helping, of getting the older baby, of coming to help with the younger one, me never having a weekend off. Mm -hmm. And we lived in the same city, you know? So I, I, I went through that for three years, y'all. And I, I was like, let me go about my life. Let me go about my dreams. Let me go about my goals. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that and I relocated to Texas and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. So when you find yourself in that position, you have to really start thinking about what are the steps that I can do? And then how can I go to my happy place sooner? How can me and my kids be good? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because I mean, put them on child support. Like, like your friend said, if she's good financially, but life happens, you know, and then because you get that money coming life in. Life happens. <sighs> Yeah, I'm here. You keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you, you get the money coming in. I, there, there's never a shortage of money. I mean, I don't know how many people that's like, I'm good without it. Like, I mean, come on, you raising a kid. You can we all can do that. And let me tell y'all what y'all can do with that money. Not to cut you off, Sean, if you want mm -hmm. to say more, but I want to I want to tell y'all what you could do with that money. You, some women make six figures. Some women have really good jobs. Some women make really good five figures. I was making $26,000 a year with two kids working at a mortgage company. Mm -hmm. This was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I needed support. I needed help. It was cool when I was single right out of college as an entry level job, but it's not cool to try to raise three kids on $26,000. Mm -hmm. And the judge ordered him to pay $300 for two kids. I had to go through years years before we ever got to 600 and then he finished out all through their teen years now you know these kids eat you know these kids are in sports you know we everywhere you know these shoes cost over a hundred dollars for these big feet all of these things so the reason why you need to put that man on child support especially if he isn't co-parenting with you and helping you with your children is that you could think about it if we all had the wisdom that we have now and i'm gonna give it to some of y'all so y'all can go on and do this you could go ahead and get a 529 plan where you can put money away for your kids' college tuition. You could be putting money in there. You could be investing in stock for these babies. You could be putting up savings accounts. You know, they ain't really paying, they, they ain't paying no money on these savings accounts, but you can have something there. You can start buying property. But see, when, when you're in a struggle and when you're you're just not thinking about it and you're only surviving, you don't have these ideas, mm. right? And, and I know that there are women who are on different levels out there, but what I'm saying is don't be like me. Don't let these dudes um, intimidate you. You know what I mean? And some of them are crazy. We know that, right? So, you know, get yourself protected as well. Mm -hmm. But it's just so strange. But that's what you can do. You can put that money up for a rainy day. You can grow your emergency fund. Um, so don't sit up and say, I'm going to do all the work because you didn't do all the work by yourself. He had a really good time helping you make that baby. Breach. Breach. <laughs> hey, we can end right there. <laughs> we have a church right now. That's that's yeah. real talk. That's real talk. It's, it's, it's too many, you know, I always say we we have too, too many of these young guys, they know how to be lovers before providers. You know, they, they can do the thing in the bed, but anything outside of it is like, really? You know, so and great ideas. I'm glad you talked about that, like investing and being able to buy properties. There's we can always use that money. 15 years down the line, it's a great investment. Listen, no, I could have been in a different financial position had this man paid what he should have been paying to help with his children. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and 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 so that here's another thing to that. When I, I just said I could have been in a different financial position, when the man hears that, he's like, oh, I'm not helping her. I'm not trying to help her. Mm -hmm. She's just trying to take my money to get her nails done and get her hair done and do this and do that. And so for so long, I said it till I was blue in the face. I said, what you're sending does not pay the rent. It barely pays the food bill. Nobody is taking what you're sending and splurging and living their best life. I'm grateful that the state you know, helped make sure I got money coming in consistently because for five years, there wasn't anything coming. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. And so again, um, then when I went to go request the increase, finally it dawned on me. Um, the lady was like, it's too late because he's about to exit out in about six months. So, you know, 
the process is going to take this long. It's going to take that. Honestly, I, I really should have got an attorney a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, people, you know, we're young. We think we can't afford it. Mm -hmm. um, some, yes, the state can do this. But if you get an attorney, this is in retrospect now, mm -hmm. um, should have just gotten an attorney. Because I remember a friend who was like, oh, yeah, I didn't go through the state. I got an attorney, you know. Mm -hmm. and she was getting way more money i have a friend her and her husband they pay child support for his stepdaughter way more fourteen hundred dollars a month for one child mm -hmm. right and i had to make it by busting my behind being a teacher building my businesses that's a large people like why don't you start your business passion purpose mm -hmm. and then yes you have to pay me to help you so i can take care of my family right it's a win-win situation i'm gonna give you what i got you give me what you got I feel good about it. You feel good about it. It's a positive exchange. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But that's a large part of, you know, how I got started. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I knew God was like, I want you to do this and I want you to do that. But then after I was doing it, I was like, oh, now, God, we got to monetize this. How we, this is a lot of work. <laughs> this is a lot of me giving us a lot. Of, I'm taking time away from my kids. I'm taking the knowledge, the pain, the experience, and I'm putting it in a practical way for other women to change their lives. Yes, you should pay me for that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's and right. so um, I just, I, all this hard work that I've been doing, all those accolades and all that stuff you put out there, um, it was to help me too. You know what I mean? It was to help me too. It helped me process. And then it makes me so happy to help other women. It gives me so much joy. Yeah. Put that man on child support, sis. If you out here talking about, I could just do it myself. I make this right now. Baby, listen, jobs lay off people. We have seasons where we need to, you know, look for a job. I was an educator. I was in a position I didn't like, you know, the people were, you know, the word for it, I didn't have the word for it. And I was like, I'm feeling like this is racism. I'm feeling like this is, you know, like um, all the other people are being favored and then I'm being picked on. I didn't have the words for it. Now we find that it's called workplace trauma, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going through that. I'm raising these boys as a single mom. I'm building businesses. I'm busting my behind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And being there for my kids, right? Not, not being detached, not being depressed, not being aloof. You know, I'm there, I'm in a thick of it. And mm -hmm. so, you know, these men ought to come back to, to their exes and say, thank you. That's what they ought to be doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hope God pricks their hearts come back and say, thank you. Like, it ain't too late. You ain't do what you had to do all them 10 years. Send me a check. <laughs> you can still send me a check. That's send right. Me a check so I can give it to them. So we can start them some investments. Okay. Mm. I've already talked to my boys about these kind of things. Because as I learn, whatever my mistakes were, mm. I'm making sure they start out not doing any of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But so you can send us a check. Don't just give us, I'm sorry. You can send us a check too. Come on, write, write it up. 10, 20, 30, <laughs> we'll take it. Come on. That's right. That's right. I, got, I had to pay alimony and child support for about a year before I got my daughter full time. And uh, I remember one time I thought I missed a payment and I, I paid double. Yep. I was like, I'm not care. about to play with that because there's care. people out here, people I know personally, they owe five, six years of child support back, back child support. And I'm like, why would you put yourself in that kind of hole? I was tripping off of one month and, and I doubled up. It wasn't that I missed it. So I don't know. You know people out here, they, I don't know. They so you want to talk about what makes a man not do it. I'll tell you what makes a man not want to pay child support, right? Mm -hmm. 